Okay, we're going to get on to Russia, Ukraine. People of the world, all, all they have heard or seen is garbage when it comes to Russia. They've been brainwashed since the day they were born that Russia's a bad guy. And you can see it today. You can see it today how people are so brainwashed. Let's take, for example, Ukraine. I doubt if 90% of the people in the world ever heard of Ukraine, let alone how its country's government has been operating. The corruption has been there for so damn many years. And the laws that they enacted to screw and attack and kill the Russians in the south and the east of Ukraine. Nobody cares about that. Nobody hears about that crap. But we got to blame Russia. Russia is invading and declared war on Ukraine. That is a total 100% lie. <laughs> Granted, there was a certain amount of invasion for a reason. It's not a war. Russia has not declared war on Ukraine. If they had, Ukraine would be 100% in Russian control the first two weeks of over two years ago when it first started. Now look at what's happening today. Russia can hit anywhere in Ukraine, but they do not do it. Their attacks have been on military structures, military people. They have been very, very careful about hitting civilian areas. Oh, granted, you're going to have a very little collateral damage because Russia is restricting where they hit. If it was a declared war, they would hit anything and everything in that country, including civilians. That's war. Russia is not at war. Russia is, their goal has only and has always and is still to protect the people, the Russian people, and their property in the south and the east of Ukraine that Ukraine, Volensky and his clowns have been trying to push out since 2010, 2014. And like I say, even the leaders before Zelensky, the clown, he just keeps it going. People, like I say, people don't know nothing about Ukraine. All they hear is propaganda that they've been taught ever since the day they were born. Now look at NATO, USA. Man, they keep pushing. They keep pushing the borderline, the security line for Russia. They got to stop this garbage. Because like I say, if they're not very careful, or maybe they intend to, if they intend to start a goddamn World War III, start the damn thing and let's get it over with. period. But they keep pushing. They keep pushing. They want all that country along the Russian border controlled by USA and NATO. And they've terrified those small countries along the border. They've scared them. They've brainwashed them. They've threatened them. Become part of NATO. <laughs> oh my God of money. That's the problem. Most of the problem in the damn world is basically headed by the USA. <laughs> we, 
<laughs> we haven't done a goddamn thing right. Let's go back to 1950. All you have to do is just look at what we've been involved in. The losses that we've suffered. The money that we've suffered. And have totally accomplished nothing. Except to feed the warmongers. That's all we've accomplished, people. And the way we're going, man... It's scary. It is really scary. Period. Some of the leaders of these countries got a money. They don't want peace. If they did, they'd preach peace. But all they preach is stupid ass war. And believe me, that's not what Russia wants. Like I say, if Russia declared war on Ukraine, it would have been over the first two weeks when all this started, a special operation. And that's true. It is a special operation. It's not a declared war on Ukraine. Why can't people understand and get this through their thick-ass, stupid, brainwashed heads? But they won't. Anyway, folks. Have a good, safe day if that's possible. Depends on where you live, I guess. Anyway, I'm out of here. Goodbye.